Fabric mods are some of the best mods that Minecraft has these days, and luckily, you can install them quickly and easily on your Mac. All you need to do is download a few things, click a few buttons, and drag and drop a few files, and then before you know it, they'll be installed. Luckily, we're going to show you how to do all of that, where to put everything, what files you need in this video. First up, we do have this from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft Hosting. Go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash Apex. It's our very own 24-hour DDoS-protected Minecraft server. We love just Apex so much that we host our own server, play our breakdown craft com on them so check out apex to start your own server whether it's modded not modded anything in between you can do it at apex minecraft hosting on a server so check out apex the first link down below the breakdown xyz slash apex to get your server up and running nevertheless let's go ahead and get fabric mods up and running on your mac the first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below when you go to that link it's going to take you here and this is our tutorial on how to download and install the fabric mod loader once you're here go ahead and click on the yellow download fabric button that will take you to fabrics official download page here where you want to click on the download installer universal.jar there. You want to make sure that is the universal jar. When you click on that, it's going to ask you if you want to allow this. Yes, you do. Go ahead and click allow and the file will download. You may also have to save or keep the file. It all depends on which browser you're downloading. Once you've got that downloaded, let's go ahead and get the fabric installer installed or fabric loader, it should say, installed. To do that, it's going to be in your downloads folder. You can drag this to your desktop if you want. It's not required, but I do it so uh, you can see it better, right? It's just easier for teaching. When we're here, though, we want to go ahead and just double click on this fabric installer file. When you double click on it, it's going to fail. It's just not going to work, right? As you can see, it's an unidentified developer. The reason for that is because, well, fabric is not a huge, massive development studio like Oracle or Microsoft or something like that. No, it is a very small group of people putting together fabric to allow you to play Minecraft mods. However, it's still got millions of downloads and it is a hundred percent safe. So how do we get around this? Well, go ahead and click OK. And then we want to open up system preferences here. To do that, go ahead and open up Spotlight and then type in system preferences. Go to system preferences and then you want to click on security and privacy. And here you then want to click on general up here at the top. And then finally down at the bottom, you have the fabric installer. Go ahead and click open anyway. It's going to win you one more time. Are you sure you want to open this file? Go ahead and click open and Boom, there we go, the fabric installer is open. Except for some of you, it won't open. You get some sort of JRE environment error or something like that. In that case, you need to download and install Java. Java is required, specifically Java 17, in order to install Minecraft mods like Fabric on your Mac. So you need to come here, go through this tutorial. It's a simple three-step text tutorial or this in-depth video here, which will show you exactly how to get the correct version of Java for your Mac. So go through this tutorial, come back, and you'll be good to go. Finally, though, with the Minecraft Fabric installer open, you just want to make sure the version you want selected. In my case, that's 1.18.1. .1. For you, it might be 1.19.20. It'll all work. And then go ahead and click Install there. And then, boom, there you go. Fabric has successfully installed. The only reason it might not successfully install at this point is because you don't have that version of Minecraft downloaded. How do you do that? Well, you go play it. So go play Minecraft 1.18.1 .1 in this case. Just open it to the main menu and close out of it. 1.19.20. You get the idea. Whatever version, go play it. If it doesn't work here, come back, reopen the fabric installer, and it will work. Click OK, and there we go. We can now quit out of the installer, and you can delete it off of your computer. Now, what if we want to install fabric mods? Well, fabric mods are Things like the Fabric API. Now, the Fabric API is a API mod that is required for a lot of Fabric mods to have, and I just recommend you have it. It's linked in the description down below. It will take you here, where you want to scroll down and click on the yellow Download Fabric button. That will then take you to Curse Forge, and on Curse Forge, you want to look on the right-hand side and scroll down and download the version of the Fabric API you want. In our case, that's going to be the 1.18 version. Click that Download button, and the download will begin after a few seconds. You may have to allow this download or keep or save this download, depending on your browser, but it's been downloaded by over 24 million people so it's safe. Mouse Tweaks is another mod. Now, this one isn't required, but if you want to install any other mods, Mouse Tweaks, things like Xero's Minimap, any other fabric-based Minecraft mod, this is how you're going to do it. First, you need to download it. Mouse Tweaks, here we are on the download page. Come over here to the right-hand side, scroll down. You want to make sure it is the fabric version. For example, in the past, you've been able to get a Forge version of Mouse Tweaks as well. You don't want to use the Forge version. It will not work with this. You must use the fabric version of a mod, and if there is no fabric version, you cannot install that mod with fabric. Nevertheless, though, as we can see, Mouse Tweaks at fabric is there. Click the orange download button, and you know the process here. The download will begin after a few seconds, and you might need to keep saving or allow it. Last but not least, let's get Xero's minimap. This is another mod for Fabric, and honestly, it's just an amazing minimap mod that I like to showcase whenever I can. So come over here to the right-hand side, and this is the perfect example. We have Forge and we have Fabric. The Fabric mod is what we want. The Forge one will not work, so make sure you are downloading that Fabric version. And again, you know the drill. Keep, save, or allow, depending on your browser. Now, though, we can minimize our browser 
and we have three different mods downloaded. So we have the Fabric API, right? So we've got the Fabric API here. We've got Mouse Tweaks, and we've got Xero's Minimap. All three of these are different Minecraft Fabric mods. To install these, we wanna open up the Minecraft Launcher, right like so. And then once the Minecraft Launcher is open, we wanna go ahead and get to our Minecraft folder. How do you do that? It's actually super simple. Click on Installations up here at the top, and then you should have a latest release here. Hover over this and scroll over and click on this three, or this little folder here. Click on this folder. When you open up this folder, it's gonna take you here. This is where all of your Minecraft files and folders are basically contained. In here, you will have this mods folder. If you don't, just make one, right? So if there is no mods folder, just right click, create a new folder and title it mods, M-O-D-S, all lowercase, exactly like that. And then go ahead and open up that mods folder. And then you wanna take all of the files you have, right? In this case, it's gonna be the Fabric API, which is required for a lot of Fabric mods, mouse tweaks, and Xero's minimap, and any other Minecraft Fabric mods you have, and drag and drop them into this mods folder. Once you've done that, you can close out of that, close out of downloads, and come back here into the Minecraft launcher. Now we wanna make sure that we have a Fabric Loader profile. Now for me, I do, as you can see next to the play button, it's automatically selected. If it's not, click on this little arrow and select it. If that's the case, click play and click play again, you're good to go. However, if you don't have Fabric down there, you wanna click on installations up here at the top. Then you wanna make sure modded's checked. And as you can see, I uncheck modded, it disappears. Check modded and boom, it reappears. We can now click play and click play again. But if you still don't have the Fabric Loader here, or if you don't have the correct version, version of the fabric loader, what you want to do is click new installation. You can name it whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com because that's our own incredible Minecraft survival and skyblock server. You absolutely love it. Come play on that server if you want the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and click on the version drop down box here. And then we want to select release fabric loader right like so. Mine's up here at the top, but you may need to scroll down a ways to find yours. Once you've got that selected, I'm going to change resolution. You don't have to. I'm just doing that so we can see once we get in game. But finally, click create in the bottom right. We now have this new play.breakdowncraft.com profile that most importantly has fabric loader under it. Hover over this, click the green play button, confirm you're playing mod in Minecraft, and now Minecraft's going to open up with your fabric mods installed. What's great about fabric versus forge is that it's required that you install the mods before you kind of open up the first installation. If you don't do that, it's perfectly fine, by the way. Don't worry about that. But it's impossible to access the mods folder from Minecraft using Fabric. So because of that, you have to kind of do it the old-fashioned way, which ends up meaning it's a quicker process than Forge mods. So nevertheless, no reason to sit here and wait for this to open. I'll meet you on the Minecraft main menu after a very quick jump cut. So here we are on the Minecraft main menu, and unfortunately, the only way you know this is Fabric is in the bottom left. You can see Fabric there. And of course, we can jump in-game and show case the mods that we've installed. Unfortunately, Mouse Tweaks is very, very hard for me to showcase. I'm just not good at using it. I, I've never understood that mod in a way that has allowed me to consistently use it and show it on video, but luckily, Xero's Minimap will be very easy to see and very, very clearly laid out. So, just wait for this world to open, and then once it does open, we'll be able to see in the top left, there it is, Xero's Minimap. After a few seconds, it will go ahead and start actually working, and we'll be able to see that uh, the minimap will have generated, and we can do things like set waypoints and all that stuff. Boom, there we go, minimap is generated. And we wanted to set waypoints. What is it? Is it you? Yeah, there we go. We can set you, and then we can go ahead and add a waypoint. Let's go ahead and just do this like a spawn, for example. And then we can change the color to something dark green, confirm. And then if we come back, we have the spawn waypoint, which will showcase and show up through like trees and buildings and everything. That's always gonna be there for us to return back to where the spawn was. So awesome stuff, there you have it. That is how you can get fabric mods on Minecraft for your Mac. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section down below and enjoy these mods on your Mac. There are so many different fabric mods and all of them are installed the same way. Once you got the fabric installer and the fabric API, just drag and drop them into your mods folder. Also look for other compatibility mods on the mods page, like things like, you know, like libraries and stuff like that that the mods might need. That's very common in fabric and not as common on Forge. Nonetheless, my name is Nick. Check out these other awesome videos on your screen, like how to get Forge mods in Minecraft, or how to start a Minecraft server on your Mac, or how to install resource packs on your Mac. You can do it all, and we've got videos on it all, so check it out on your screen now. My name is Nick. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.